My name is Troy T. Garden. We're at the Augusta Pub in Augusta, Kentucky. I uh, was a talent buyer in the late 90s, early 2000s, and I love live music. So one of the things that I wanted to do here is bring some of that but I'm a uh, teacher by trade. I teach here at the local independent school and have uh, been a professor and I like English, but I also like pubs, so th this is working out. I've always been interested in this building. It was some kind of public hotel or bar or tavern since 1850. So when this building went on the market, I had to go for it, so here we are. I'm Sharon T. Garden, my husband and Troy's father died four years ago, and I sort of sat around for three years in a chair because we had been high school sweethearts and going toward our 50th wedding anniversary. And so Troy came in one day and said, Mom, we should buy a pub. And I'm like, are you out of your mind? Of course. So that's how it came about. Then my daughter-in-law is also part owner. My baby sister who lives in Virginia and my other sister who recently passed. So it is a family business. My name is Allison T. Garden, and I am one of the owners of the Augusta Pub. We are a family of educators, so this is a little out of our wheelhouse. So we've been really grateful for Mike's help as the, the thinking partner on the business end of things. Two or three people had just offhandedly said, have you talked to Mike over at the SBDC? And I'm like, what's the SBDC and who's Mike? And I know who Mike is now. <laughs> Mike has really, really helped us. The projections that he's made using the numbers that we have. I would recommend anybody, whether you're a new business or uh, existing business, contact Mike because uh, I can't even put a price on the value of the help he's giving us. Augusta has a great community. The locals have really supported us. And the Jenny Ann Ferry runs between Augusta and Ohio, not even a block down the street from us. So we've had a lot of support from Ohio. People have responded in a positive manner. One of our things from the beginning was to create a safe space where you can have some fun, but also the goal is when you leave, I want you to think, hey, I'd like to go back. We wouldn't be here if the people in the community weren't supporting us. I mean, obviously monetarily, but also just as partners in making sure that the business thrives and is a safe place and a comfortable place that is not just for one kind or type of person, but for the whole community. And they know that our motto helps kind of keep that on track.